Hi, I'm Mel and I'm Double Pisces Tarot. And today I'm doing a reading for Pisces. So today is the 22nd of February, 2024. And the time is around 1.45 p.m. Happy birthday to the Pisces babies born today. I hope you have a great day. I hope you were getting spoiled. I hope you're spoiling yourself. This is your day. Who doesn't love that Pisces season? So just remember, this is a timeless reading, everybody. Whenever you watch the videos, when you're supposed to receive those messages, okay? Let's see what's in the energy for Pisces. You have privilege, lady. So just remember, Tara has no gender, imprisonment, official person, and journey. So as I said, this person doesn't have to be feminine, just in a feminine energy, someone of a giver, someone that could have a bit of money, someone that's sitting back relaxing, but this person I feel is in their head. With official person, this could be someone that is important in your life, someone that's official. This could also be a policeman, someone high up. But this person I feel is either traveling toward you, um, getting ready to move towards you in energy but they're in their head about coming forward okay pisces let's see what the tarot has to say for you today messages for pisces page of cups first card of the reading The Five of Wands. The Two of Swords. The Six of Pentacles in Reverse. The Eight of Cups. The Wheel of Fortune. The Ten of Cups. The Ace of Wands. And the page of pentacles in reverse on the back of the deck you've got the tower and judgment something unexpected is coming in um, that i feel is going to wake you up okay pisces let's get into it let's see what's going on in the cards we'll grab out some clarifiers what's the page of cups for pisces so you have the hanged man, Pisces energy, someone that's had the epiphany. You've got the queen of swords. You could have been giving to a younger energy. This could be a child, someone that could have air in their chart. It doesn't have to be, but I feel like you are now looking at the situation from a different point of view. You've had the epiphany. I feel like you're in queen of swords energy, Pisces. So... The Queen of Swords, she's been through a bit. She will listen to you, but she is still going to make that decision logically. Then you've got the High Priestess. So there was something I feel being hidden from you. There's a lot of Pisces energy coming out here, but there's travel also. So I feel like, you know, I feel like you, you became hard with this. That's all I can think of. Um, but yeah, there's like a epiphany happening. This person could have been giving you a little bit. You know, they don't have to be a younger energy. Someone that could have water in their chart. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. They don't have to have that either. But this is someone I feel that was giving you a little. You could have been giving this person a lot. Then you've got the Five of Wands. So what's the Five of Wands? You've got the devil. So the five of wands is conflict, competition. You've got the devil. So there could have been a bit of conflict in this. 
this person could have made others go against you you've got the devil coming out so this person could have capricorn in their chart they don't have to someone that could have addictions someone that could be codependent on something someone you've got the nine of pentacles so i feel like you're focused on yourself i feel like this person could be a bit jealous of what you're doing at the moment you know you are bringing something into your energy and i feel like it's money and then you've got the three of swords so this arguments and conflict competition could have led to a heartbreak with the three of swords coming out but as i said you're walking away from that you know you were walking away from it I feel like you are looking at it now. You're sitting back, looking back at those memories. But this person, I feel there's a codependency. And that's why I feel like you're a lot hurt from this ending. What's the two of swords for Pisces? You've got the two of pentacles. So twos could be significant. Two, two, two. It is... Two 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 four today. <laughs> the date. You've got death. So you're closed off to this energy. This person that was juggling. There is an ending. This person could have Scorpio in their chart. They don't have to. But it's something I feel you keep holding on to this person, this energy, this person's energy. You don't want to see this over because there is this codependency. There's a chain between you and that energy. But this is, this is long gone. You don't want to let go. You're still holding on. You need to let go. What's the Six of Pentacles in reverse? What's the Six of Pentacles in reverse? So you have the lovers. So making the choice to not give to this person anymore. You could be self-indulging, giving money away, spending a bit of money, choosing to spend money or give to others, but you... I feel like you're in this energy of, you know, sort of going a bit crazy with money. You could be overspending. But this was, you know, a soulmate in your life. I feel like you could be choosing somebody else because, as I said, with this, you look at the soulmate card, the lovers, Gemini energy could be with someone that has Gemini in their chart. But I feel like you're giving to something else now. You aren't giving to something that I feel is bad. You're giving to something that's heaven sent. You know, that's the angel. And you've got, I don't know if she's the devil. She might be the devil, you know, but it's upright. So, you know, you're giving to something that's angelic, something that was heaven sent. As I said, you could be self-indulging a lot. But there is progress, I feel, between you and this energy. And with that Seven of Pentacles coming out, time has, you know, ticked over. There's been a lot of time in this. A lot of work has been put together with this person. And then you've got Temperance. So this is a healing energy. This is someone, as I said, this is someone that's heaven sent with Temperance coming out, Sagittarius energy. Someone that divine has bring into your life for you this is like harmony peace you know that healing the healing and i feel like you know you're leaving that you're leaving the old you know he looks like he's going up to take a breath of air so it's like you need a breath of fresh air. This was keeping you down. This was drowning you. What's the Eight of Cups? Yeah, that past energy. You've got the Page of Wands. 
So there's something new you're following now. The Page of Wands coming out. There could have been some type of communication. This could be, as I said, something in the material world. But you could be giving to a younger energy also with the Page of Wands. So Fire, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. They don't have to be younger. There's a lot of attraction and fire between you and this person. Passion. You've got the Nine of Swords. And you've also got the Sun. So, while you go up for air, there is this codependency from the past that you're holding on to that leaves you imprisoned in your mind. But I feel when you go up for air, you're going to get the, the sunlight, you're going to heal. You could be focused on family, on children. There is a lot of younger energy around you at the moment, Pisces, that yellow, the sunflowers. So sunflowers remind me of peace. So, you know, when you do go out for air, you're going to, you know, feel rejuvenated again. What's the Wheel of Fortune? What's this Wheel of Fortune for Pisces? So you have the Queen of Pentacles. So the wheel's turning, I feel, in your favor. Pisces with the Queen of Pentacles coming out. You've got the Hierophant. And the Three of Cups. Yeah, there's a celebration going to happen if it hasn't happened already. To me, it looks like it's in this current energy. I'm seeing the Seven of Swords. Someone walking away is leading to this new turn, this new turn in the wheel. And as I said, it's a good turn in the wheel, something that is meant to happen in your life. Um, I feel like you've learned a lesson. This could be coming from someone that has Taurus in, the ch in their chart. With the Queen of Pentacles coming out, she reminds me of this privileged lady also. So there could be a mother or someone moving forward, someone coming to say something to you. Someone's wanting, you know, a reconciliation. This could be family. But I feel like there's like a commitment. To me, he's, you know, he's the priest. So there could be someone... You know, that you do have family with, children with, they don't have to. But there is this feminine energy, someone that wants to give time, money and effort to you. They want to come forward. You know, they want to be celebrating something with you with the Three of Cups coming out. As I said, it could be family. It is Pisces season. Uh, your birthday could be coming up soon. This person's wanting to celebrate with you. You know, take what resonates. So future energy, though, you've got this Ten of Cups. But there's some good news coming in your current energy. If you haven't seen it yet, Pisces, it's coming. So for the Ten of Cups, you've got the Eight of Swords. So in future energy, you know, the first card here, you've got the Ten of Cups. So, you know, emotional, emotional fulfillment, family, children, loved ones. There could be a rebirth of something with the Death card coming out. Scorpio energy, it could be with someone that has Scorpio in their chart. And then you've got the Three of Pentacles. So, yeah, someone that's wanting to work on something with you work on family, work on a home, someone that loves you dearly. There's like a team here of like a whole family. You got children, you got mum and dad. So everybody is working together. Like there's this working together and I feel like this is like a reconciliation, a rebirth. What's this Ace of Wands? So you have the Knight of Swords coming out for you, Pisces. The Star. There's a wish fulfillment coming in the future. There will be something being said to you, whether it be a message, uh, whether it be a person. To me, it looks like there's some type of communication. Someone's taking a leap. There is, I feel, like a wish fulfillment moving into your energy, starting a passionate new 
beginning. And I feel like you're letting go of control now, Pisces, with the star coming out, Aquarius energy. Now you're letting go of control. You're sort of going with that flow of life. I feel you think, you know, what happens, happens. Whether this is bad or good, you're just, you're taking the leap on like a new, there's like a birth. Like a passionate new beginning. Something that lights a fire in you. Whether this be a person, but there is some type of communication that I see coming into your energy in the future. You know, I feel like you're going to get it all. You've got, you know, emotional fulfillment. You've also got something coming, I feel, that could be in the material world. Some good news. What's the Page of Pentacles in reverse? What's the Page of Pentacles in reverse for Pisces? So you have Justice. You have the Nine of Pentacles. There is a younger energy. You know, they don't have to be younger. Just someone that's not as mature in the mind that I feel is, you know, they do want to come in and give you something, but they're deciding not to. But I feel also when that happens, you know, you're okay with this. You know, I feel like this person just wants to play some type of game. This younger energy, as I said, they don't have to be younger. They could just be not as mature in the mind. As I said, they want to play like some type of game. But I feel like this person is receiving a karma call with justice coming out, Libra energy. That could also be in this person's chart. I feel like this person is sitting there watching you. They see you looking very attractive. They see you working on yourself. They see these pentacles growing around you. And that's what this person's karma is, is, is them sitting in this jealous energy. But you are getting success. You are getting happiness. This is part of the plan. This is part of Divine's plan. You leaving this younger energy, whoever this is, this person that you know, does want to come in and share something with you. This person could be wanting to work with you, someone that's in the same field as you, whatever you do. This could be a friend. As I said, it doesn't have to be a lover or anything, but this person is, I feel, very jealous of you. I feel this person watches you. They see you moving up. You know, they see you walking into the finish line, you know, the four of wands, and that's what their karma is because this person is is someone that's playing games, someone that's not, you know, trying to play games with you, someone that is triggered by what you're doing. Okay, so Pisces, what you don't see, you have the tower and judgment. So the tower is something that is you know, shocking, something that you weren't expecting. It is part of the plan, but you don't see this. What's this tower? What's this tower that Pisces doesn't see? You've got the fool. The six of wands. And the high priestess. So there could be something that you're doing in the material world that's spiritual. You know, this is the high priestess. This is Pisces card. You're a very intuitive person. There's things going on behind you there. There's people praising you. I also feel, I also feel there's like angels. But there's something that you are, I feel moving in to the winner's circle. You know, I feel like this is what is surprising. There's something that is going to come out. 
that's going to shock you. And I feel like this is something to do with the material world. This is something to do with money. This is part of your path. You know, you're taking that leap to start something new. There's like an evolution of you with that butterfly coming out. Butterflies are really coming out to me the last few days. You're leaving someone there. If you can see that little person, there's someone down there. But you're leaping. You're going for it. This person isn't leaping. And it's going to lead you into success. You know, this is part of the path. You know, the high priestess goes with the flow of life. You're letting the wind take you, even if there is, you know, a strong current. But there's something that is is going to surprise you. And I feel like it's got to do with the material world. So how exciting for you, Pisces. What's judgment? What does Pisces not see with this judgment? Got the four of wands. So success, celebration. You've done the work. You're waiting for that reward from divine. You know, you're not expecting it because... You've got the tower coming out. You don't have the three of wands. You've got the tower. So it's something unexpected, you know. You've got the nine of swords. And you've got death. So there's something coming in towards you. This could be a relationship. As I said, there's something um, in the material world that I feel you're going to hear about. I also feel like you're going to hear from a person. A person in your energy that wants to connect with you i feel when this person comes in wanting to start some type of rebirth or a new beginning this is going to leave you in your head pisces with that nine of swords coming out but as i said before you are the high priestess you go with that flow of life you're ready to learn those lessons no matter what things happen and you're ready for it got the seven of wands on the back of the deck i feel this person is wanting to fight for this. They could have Scorpio in their chart. We've got a lot of Scorpio coming out. This could be someone you're married to with the Four of Wands also coming out. This could be a twin flame. That's a twin flame number, 1111. But there will be, you know, there's, there's a few messages coming towards you, Pisces. So as I say always, keep doing you. You're evolving, you know, you've got that rebirth at the moment. It is Pisces season on your birthday. It's like a rebirth every year. Shedding that old skin, growing. I'm not much of a snake person, but I love snakes. Like I love their, what their spiritual meaning is. It's beautiful. But yeah, I'm not much of a snake fan. Okay, we'll grab out a fortune telling card for you now, Pisces. One card for Pisces. You've got number eight. So eight is the manifestation number, infinity symbol. Um, you know, what goes around comes around as above, so below. You will hear bad news from overseas or a long distance away. Okay, so as I say always, Pisces, take what resonates for you. The fortune telling cards are interesting to see every day. Sometimes they give you a bit of a laugh. But don't take it too seriously. Some of them are a bit full on. <laughs> Okay, we'll get you a music message now, Pisces. One card for Pisces. Because of you, Neo. So listen to that song. It will have messages. I'm going to leave it there, Pisces. Thank you all for coming to my reading. If this is your first time, welcome. Just remember all my readings are timeless. So if you ever want to check out my channel, there is a playlist for Pisces.
I thank you all for watching, liking, subscribing, being here every day, sharing your energy. I love doing these readings for the collective. Um, also, I am doing a Pisces season sale on my personal readings on my website. So that's 11% off all readings. So check it out. If you want a personal reading from me, don't forget to use the code birthday to get that 11% off. Um, also, I am doing a giveaway for a free reading. So if you would like a free reading from me, like to win one, check out my Instagram page for details. That competition ends on the full moon, which is a Saturday, the 24th of February. Um, also, I want to let you guys know my birthday is the 10th of March. So my birthday's in a few weeks time. I cannot wait. I'm very excited, um, as all the Pisces are when your birthday comes up. Um, I am going away for my birthday, but I will be taking my cards, so I will be doing readings. I do want to show, you know, my YouTube community um, where I'll be staying. I do love staying near the water. It is very Pisces. Um, it's very, it's very me. <laughs> But yeah, anyways, yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know my birthday is the 10th of March too. Um, Familiar Witch, who I love so much, her birthday is the 10th of March also, which makes me feel very special and privileged to know I share the same birthday as, you know, one of the most amazing tarot readers here on YouTube. And, you know, I wish she has a great birthday too, but I wish you all have a great birthday let me know in the comments what you're getting up to, if you're doing anything special, but of course you're doing something special. You are a Pisces. Um, but yeah, have a great day or night wherever you are in the world and I'll see you all again tomorrow. Bye-bye.